So I just watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and this is really really awesome. And I try to put amazing Spider-Man fun in all my Spider-Man videos so this is an amazing Spider-Man movie. Anyway, jokes aside, this movie is pretty awesome cause this movie does everything the Into the Spider-Verse movie did but made it better by having a lot of different characters and telling us the story of those characters. Into the Spider-Verse was a movie where all the Spider-Mans from all the different universes got into my Miles' universe for, well, I don't want to spoil it, but Kingpin's experiments. But in this movie, Miles is taken to the Spider-Man community or the Spider-Verse and this was done in a better way compared to many other multiverse movies I have seen lately. One of the best part about Into the Spider-Verse was the multiverse effect where each different Spider-Man from the different Spider-Verses had their own art style and, well, that thing is in this movie which is also a good addition to separate different Spider-Man. The best part of the movie is they learned from what they did in the first movie and continued that. Cause in the previous movie there were 5 or 6 different Spider-Mans and we got to learn about their history a little bit but enough for the story. And in this movie we also get different Spider-Mans and their backstories or their current situations are at least make us feel for them. And my favorite Spider-Man is undoubtedly Spider-Man India, but I don't know how to say his name. Yeah, th that name is kinda sus. But I enjoy that character and he was voiced by Doppinger from Deadpool movies and that was pretty awesome. Cause he was one of the charming characters in Deadpool and he is one of the charming characters in this movie. Yes, I would have liked some more from some of the cameos, but they had they had a lot of characters and telling each of their stories would take, I don't know, two, three movies. And I've seen some people complain that this is bloated. Well, you may say at times it's bloated, but there would be a direct sequel to this movie. So in that way, this movie was pretty important because it's like Infinity War where most of the time was spent with different characters for the character developments with a cliffhanger ending for Endgame 2 blew everyone's mind and the same thing happens in this movie because the last few minutes of the movie was absolutely mind-blowing and this movie is probably one of the best Spider-Man movies in forever and many superhero movies in the recent times be it animated or live action they miss the emotional scenes even Spider-Man No Way Home was like jumping from emotion to funny lines in between emotion to spice it up but this movie the emotional scenes hits emotionally and I don't want to spoil anything but you are going to get a fair share of the emotional scenes so if you are watching this video and enjoying this so far hit the like share subscribe and all the buttons while I complete the video there are some cameos from different versions of Spider-Man and well they are pretty good for nostalgia or easter eggs but they serve the movie in a better way cause this is a multiverse movie and if they don't show too much of multiverse this would be just another generic Spider-Man movie. The problem which Multiverse of Madness did by not exploring the multiverse but this movie does explore the multiverse quite a bit so that's the best part of this movie. There are a few minor complaints on nitpicks I have but those mostly fall in the category of spoilers but overall I can say this movie is pretty good. Into the Spider-Verse was a movie about Miles Morales and his mentor Peter B. Parker but in this movie Miles Morales spends a lot of time with Spider-Gwen and they are the two major characters and other characters are just sidelined and this movie's flaw or maybe this movie's strength is they don't have a real villain as Spot and Miguel O'Hara is kind of the good bad guy he is an anti-hero so if I have to read it this would be a 9 out of 10 and after the sequel I, I can give this movie a 10 cause this movie at the end was a little too cliffhangery for me to give it a 10 out of 10. I don't know if I'm making sense or not but that's it for today's video and hope you enjoyed my video and if you did hit the like button, share, subscribe and well do all the thing all other YouTubers ask you to do.